Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, aka Massage Nerd, and today we're going to perform breathing techniques, but not necessarily from the abdominal area. I know it sounds weird that we're going to train the body to breathe from other areas of the body, but we just want to get oxygen and everything else to all the different parts of the body. So what you're going to do is, let's say for the, the pec area, you're just going to place your hand in that area, and then have them just breathe into that area. And then when they breathe out, just give a little push. Breathe in. When they're breathing in, when they're breathing out, give a little bit of push again then. So and you can even perform it two areas at, at once if you need to. Um, you can even perform it right in the sternum area. But this is uh, for a female. What I do is like this, like this, double, triple, quadruple up if you need to. But again, I always ask permission. But I'm just going to lay it right on the sternum area. So this, is this okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to just place it here. And then it's safer. And then I'm just going to place my hand here. So breathe into my hand. And breathe out. And it's just kind of forcing everything out. Because some things I've read is like you only use pretty much 20% of your lung capacity through the day. So we're just going to try to force all the air out um, to get everything circulating a lot more then. Okay, so we got it on the areas where you can actually see breathing. So you can also in the abdominal area, but you can have them breathe different. So what we're going to do is place our hand here and have them try to push your hand, but just the one side. And then breathe out. It's going to take some training to do it, so if they're not used to breathing these ways, then breathe out. There we go. But again, in through the nose, out through the nose if possible, so it's more relaxing. And you can even place your hands here. Okay, breathe in. So both at the same, see it opening up and then compressing and bringing it up. Okay, the, this next treat, uh, next one is going to get a, a little weird for the average person. They're going to think, what, what are you actually doing? But we're going to breathe through other parts of the body. So if somebody's more into energy work, um, they can even visualize this a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hand, let's say, in the quad area or the arm area, and I'm just going to tell them to breathe, pretend that they're breathing through the area. So breathe in, then breathe out. So even though you really can't feel it, it's just training them to just be more aware of all parts of the body too if you want to look at it. So again, you don't have to incorporate these areas that you can't actually see. And another option too is you can have them turn over. So if you want to turn over, and typically you would have them in the headrest of course. But what we're going to do is even for the back area. So you can have them breathe in from all these different areas of the back. So breathe in, then breathe out. Breathe in. Again, it's really relaxing um, for these kind of areas where there's breathing in and breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. But again, make sure the slower the better for the breathing in and breathing out because it's going to feel a lot more comfortable for them. Okay.